Hello, so the other day in my video I mentioned this thing I was printing pictures with, I've got two kids behind me, um, and basically I think it's meant for kids but big kid, works fine for me, um, it's called Key Picks or something like that, it's by Tomy, there you go, so it doesn't take, it doesn't need batteries or anything like that, you just put the like the, the little cartridge of their, uh, the Instax Mini film in it, um, and um, then what you do, so let me hold it up for you, so I need about three pairs of hands really, I should have done it by the table but it was a bit dark inside so it looks a bit like a camera okay uh, so you know it's normally like that in the box okay you load the back the film into the back like you would a camera so it's like a camera treat it like a camera but what you do is you open these out okay um, you put this little thing on the top and this is the fiddly bit and this is the bit that you know drives me a little bit nuts i have to say and when i'm trying to do it bits are usually dropping off so uh, but that kind of sits on there i don't remember which way around it goes probably the other way um but it kind of like clicks on like that that's it like that yeah and then what you do is you put your phone screen down with the picture picture showing on the screen down there okay now what you need to do with your phone is turn the brightness right up and make sure it's not on a it's going to get not going to go to sleep really quickly so if, you're, if your phone is set to perhaps go to sleep after 30 seconds or something like that uh, you might want to take make that a bit bigger uh, in the length of time bigger longer duration so um, so that if you if you're fiddling around a little bit um, it's not going to then the screen's not going to go black okay so um, so you put your picture on make sure it fills the screen it's going to be like that kind of shaped picture okay um, turn the brightness up so go into your settings screen brightness right up okay um, make sure it's not going to go to sleep on you and then what you do is you put your screen face down covering this hole so this hole is kind of like framing the picture okay um, there is like a little mirror bit here okay which sometimes if you like peer you can kind of check or well, I usually put it on the table I usually crouch, crouch down and have a little look underneath just to make sure that that's lined up it it did when I got it have some sticky stuff on there so the idea being that you stick that on the screen so you know it's lined up and then you click it on but my phone's quite heavy Ooh, hello my, my phone's quite heavy so it kept dropping off so uh, what I tend to do is put that on first so I know that's how I want it and then I put the screen and I line it up and then I look have a little peer underneath to to make sure that it's level okay then what you do okay uh, I turn it around so that all this time you, you keep it you know it's on the table nice and steady but you click this button here and it goes click just like you would as if you're taking a picture okay and then you wind Ted stand still you wind this little dial this knob here and slowly until the picture shoots well it doesn't shoot out it gradually comes out this slot at the bottom okay um, and you in it will kind of like you'll, you'll know it's at the end and you can just take it off and then this is ready for the next picture like a camera okay it shows you the number uh, I don't know if you can see in that little window look so you know you get 10, 10 sort of pictures out, out of one of those packs of a, of a Fuji mini film so you know you can see the number as it, as it counts uh, counts down I think um, so that's what that is but so I do that and the reason I, I I've got a, an instant camera as well and the reason I bought this with me instead of the instant camera is that um, generally with your phone you take pictures and then you I do a little bit of an edit um, and I make sure that I'm really happy with them um, and then I can print it rather than you know wasting pictures um, um, you know if it's not come out quite right that kind of thing so this is a really good way of getting pictures certain grab oh, hang on. There we go. so um, they come out like that yeah so they're really nice and then you can stick them in so if you're doing a scrapbook holiday scrapbook or something like that you can then stick them in um, so that's what they're all about okay so uh, I try to take one or two a day so that I can then stick them in as a bit of a record of the trip so um, so yeah so that's how I do it I do it with that, that with that little gadget so it's quite handy it didn't cost that much I think I got it from Amazon or somewhere like that um, but it doesn't take batteries you just got to put the film cartridge in it but uh, good boy too wait no it's just somebody walking past with a dog so make sure he doesn't he's attached but uh, he might suddenly launch himself off of <laughs> try and launch himself off the boat uh, but yeah so good boy that's it so yeah so that's what those are so that is how I'm doing I'm doing a little journal because when I've been on trips before I always do a, like a photo book with my photos when I come back uh, but like with San Francisco I found a little notebook where I scribbled down certain things uh, it's things like oh, I went to so-and-so had so-and-so for breakfast now 
no, normally, I, you know, I, I don't need to document what I have for breakfast here, but in San Francisco I was having some different stuff that, I, that you know, I thought, oh, maybe I can make that at home, that kind of thing. So I was documenting those things, but then I, I stopped. I obviously got so far into the trip and I stopped writing it down. And I thought, oh, I wish, and I'd forgotten. And I looked back, I thought, oh yeah, I forgot we went there. I forgot about that. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is why I'm doing the little journal, just writing down, um, you know, a few things from each day that I want to remember taking a picture or two uh, on my phone so I take pictures throughout the day on my phone and then I choose two to print to put in the little journal book and I stick them in um, so that's quite a good fun thing to do it's a good fun thing to do if you've got kids I mean I don't know whether you did it but you know growing up if we went anywhere on the holiday we'd have a like a note just like a just like a notebook and we used to collect we used to sort of write things in it but we used to collect all sorts of random stuff like leaflets we used to stick all sorts in there like packets of salt and sugar and anything that we could get hold of uh, on our trip and we'd stick it in our book and book, they're not quite fat um, so yeah it's good it's a good fun thing to do but this makes it even more fun because you can actually get the pictures off your phone straight into sort of the journal or the the, the notebook you know that you're doing so so yeah so I said I'd show you that so that's what it is so let me show you the box again okay uh, so that is it uh, but it was a good old Amazon purchase um, it's cheaper than like a proper phone photo printer. That's it's, that's why it was a kind of a budget kind of purchase. What I want, it was like, oh, that's cheap. I wonder if that's any good. And actually, it, you know, if you if you line it up, I've wasted a few shots, uh, not not lining it up properly, or you know, I forgot to, like this time because I haven't used it for ages. I forgot to put this on, and then I couldn't work out how to line the picture up. So uh, I wasted a couple of shots like that. But generally, on the whole, um, they look really nice. So. That was the three dogs that outside the pub the other day. So, so yeah, so that's a good fun thing to do. So that's what I've been using. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.